Good morning. You know, it is about jobs in the economy this election, but you'd never know that by looking at the actions of this president and his administration. We have looming before us the uh, implementation of the sequester, uh, which not only will affect in real ways the ability to defend our country, uh, but it will affect so many people in terms of their jobs and their communities across this country. And yet, this administration has failed to respond to our repeated requests to come to the table to see if we can resolve this so that the sequester doesn't hit, but we can achieve the necessary cuts uh, to the deficit. Uh, again, as the Speaker said, it is almost unfathomable to imagine how it is that the President could be advocating for increased taxes when this economy and small businesses are suffering so much. We had the latest in terms of the Senate action. The Senate Democrats are now claiming they're going to go and push this economy off the cliff just so they can say that we're going to raise taxes. We in the House obviously are of a different mindset. Now, my governor is coming up here today. Virginia is one of the top states in terms of the impact of the sequester. We are uh, estimated to, to be losing over 100,000 jobs by the end of 2014. I look forward to working with uh, our governor, Governor McDonnell, hearing about the impact of the sequester in Virginia, and then taking that message uh, to uh, our, our Democratic senators and to this president to see if they'll finally join us in acting. Here in the House, we're going to continue our focus on small business job creation, uh, not only this week bringing forward the Transparency and Sequester Act that Chairman Ryan will talk about, uh, but also next week um, going forward with the Red Tape Reduction Week and making sure that we impose a moratorium on regulations until this economy snaps back. And then in the final week prior to the August uh, district work period, we're going to be focusing on making sure that taxes don't go up on anybody. Uh, and to ensure that we have a plan for tax reform so we can, we can make it easier for small business people and entrepreneurs uh, to grow jobs.